Every Orino breakout player wants a high storage value. They want to play with their favorite weapons all day, wear T6s, thermals, destroy every single lobby and get richer. And if you can't achieve that, it's either you're trash or you don't know what's the best loadout for your storage value. It doesn't matter if you're under 500k or over 50 million. I got you. Alright now, let's cut the crap already and get straight into it. So we'll start from under 500k. Dude, you're literally at the edge of creating another account or deleting the game. Cause you don't have anything left. And therefore, I need you to forget about tactical ops and play covert ops for a whole day. And trust me, a day is the best case. Let's imagine you play 5 hours a day. And as my calculations with all the cooldowns and everything, you can play only 10 matches. And if you get just 100k from 5 of them, you'll get over a million. And if you couldn't, don't even worry about it, we all had some bad days, right? So whatever you do, try getting over a million. And as you reach to a million, now you're allowed to play tactical ops. Which I will give you the loadouts, but before that I have to give you a method which helps you to get more money as you're going through. And the method is called Covical Ops. Uh, like tactical and covert combined? Isn't it funny? In this method, firstly, you have to play a tactical ops, and after you extracted or died, you'll play a covert ops, and in the cooldown, you'll play another tactical ops and do the same thing over and over again. If you do so, you'll always have enough money to buy your loadouts, and you'll never drop down under 1 million again. And now it's time for the loadouts. I'll separate the loadouts in two categories, aggressive and passive. Wish I don't have a gameplay for passive, uh, I don't snipe. And for the aggressive, just go for the legs. Forget about T3 or T2 bullets, and you clearly can't afford T4 bullets, so it's better to buy a bullet with a high base damage. Dum Dum has always been a great choice for poor players. Although you can buy HP or other bullets, but they could never compete against Dum Dums. So grab your MP5, buy some Dum Dums, and just go for the legs. I know you want to play with those fancy H4s, MK14s, and everything, but it's just not the time. Like, I've been there. I wanted to, but if you put all your money into a loadout and lose it, you will lose all your hope and your money. And besides that, you have to spend the whole day playing covert ops. So control yourself, don't spend too much money until you get over 2 million. Alright, now you can play a proper match. Now you have the money to buy expensive weapons, expensive armors, right? No, you're still broke! <sighs> well, no, I I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Now this part is the most important part, which most of the players fail to pass. And that's why an average arena breakout player have around 3 to 5 million storage value. And by understanding how to come up with a good loadout, you can get past this level. Here are some of the common mistakes which players make in this part. Number 1. Spending on the gun, not the bullets. I still see a lot of players who mod their weapons up to 80k and use T3 bullets, like are you kidding me? A wise person once said people are all generous and lavish until it comes to the bullets. So never save on bullets. In my opinion, this is the best bullet setup for someone who has less than 5 million. Alright, now the second common mistake. Not spending enough. Yup, I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you're not getting any richer, maybe you need to spend a little more money. If you're getting close to 5 million, you have to forget about buying T4 armors anymore. Instead of a T4, buy a Warren T5 or even a T6. After playing with Warren T5 and T6s for a while, you will be like, oh, so that's why I used to die so quick. And here are some of the best options for you. And now, the last common mistake buying bad weapons. I know I've said not to spend that much on your guns, but it doesn't mean to bring a trash gun. Like, I understand you want to spend less, but a Mosin? Really? Dude, you got 4 million, why don't you buy an SVDS? You're at a point that you're not poor, but not that rich. So you have to buy some guns which are not trash, but not that good either. And here are some of my best advices. Okay, now you got over 5 million storage value. Congrats on getting kinda rich. 
Kinda. Alright, now the thing is, this part is somehow similar to the last part. I mean, you're not broke anymore, thank god, but you still need a little push to get actually rich. I mean, right now you can afford expensive weapons such as my baby boy MK14, H4 and other expensive ones. But if you're asking me, don't. Bro, just look at your journey, you've come a long way playing with MP5s and stock M4s, and in the exact moment which you're getting actually rich for the first time, you wanna burn all your money on a loadout. You might say, well, no, I'll get the money back from killing people. Okay, let me explain. If you're at this point of your storage value, you're in an illusion of being rich. You're like, how many thermals I can buy? One, two, three. Damn, I'm rich! And then you'll start making expensive loadouts. And after playing with it just once, you'll get so addicted to it, you can't even imagine. Then, after first time losing it, you'll buy it right away. What I call rage spending. The most dangerous incident for this group of players. Since you think you're rich, you just start buying expensive stuff over and over again. And after a couple of times, you'll find yourself under 5 million. And then, you'll ask yourself, what if I didn't buy it in the first place? Well, I'll answer it, you would actually get rich. But still, since you're not poor anymore, you have to make some changes in your buying system. From now on, forget about worn stuff, now you can actually buy new or like new stuff, which I have a ton of recommendations for you. Now for the guns, like I said, control yourself just for a bit more. Right now, you're so close to get rich, and if you get it, you will never be poor again, which I'll explain later. So keep using the mid-end weapons, or maybe just a bit more expensive, but nothing crazy. This bullet setup is actually a good bullet setup from now on. And finally, you made it! Welcome to the Rich Boys Club! Here we have thermals you can use, INDs, big backpacks, everything! Just a bit sooner I said if you get rich you will never be poor again. And now I'll explain it for you. Imagine you start a game, you're wearing T6, you have MK14 with T6 bullets, and since you made it this far you're clearly not trash. Can you just tell me how such player are gonna die? I mean, I know you might get Dum Dum, you might get AX50 or something. But did you know since you're using T6 bullet, every single player in the map is naked for you? That's right, IND players, T5s, T4s, you can kill everybody with two shots in the body. Listen, two shots, no skill issues, and you have money. And ladies and gentlemen, that's called rich abusing. Okay, maybe the cover call wasn't funny, but this one's actually funny, right? Yeah. From now on, it's just a matter of time for you to get richer and richer. And lastly, here comes the plot twist. I know I've said even if you're over 50 million, I got you. But do you really need me to get you? Like, bro, you're over 50 million, of course you don't. You exactly know what stuff to use to get rich. Why are you even here? Like, why are you even watching? And boom, that was it. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And of course, subscribe or I'll steal your loot. See you in a bit. Goodbye.